Can you beat Dark Ages with only Golden Warfare plants? Come on, only 20 levels? Easy peasy Citron huh? Squeezy. Don't let the Dark Ages fool you. <coughs> I can't even breathe in that. These 20 levels cause problems that I thought I'd never have to deal with for the entirety of this challenge. Just a quick message, you guys. So I've dropped out of university to do this full time. Long story short, I love making content for you guys. And in all honesty, it is my dream. But that now means I'm all alone, which is very scary. So what are you doing? If you want to see videos like this every week, help me out by subscribing to the channel or financially supporting me on Patreon, where you can be featured at the end of my videos as appreciation for you funding me. I'm taking a very big risk here, guys, so anything you decide to do is much appreciated. So without further ado, we went into day one. Whoa there, who dimmed the lights? The sun did, Dave. Huh? It was the sun. According to my research, a plague has swept this area. Wait, Hold on. The plague is canon in Plants vs. Zombies. <laughs> Who at PopCap thought that the plague was a crucial plot point? Also, sun no longer falls from the sky. Well, you could have told me that before the whole plague thing. But like Penny said, sun doesn't fall from the sky in these levels, meaning we have to resort to using our sunflowers to make all of our sun throughout this world. Which puts us at a significant disadvantage building up our garden warfare team, as most of our plants are quite sun demanding. However, with the help of these sun tombstones, we're able to generate slightly more sun over the course of the level. To combat both of these issues, I decided to... At least let me announce your ass. <laughs> Chomper is very useful in the Dark Ages with being able to take down the Sun Tombs instantly, along with also being able to swallow two zombies whole before having to chew his food for three minutes. But that didn't matter, as with only two rows of sunflowers, we were able to spam Chompers everywhere and consume everything, giving us Sun Shroom, which is what we're supposed to use in this world. I'm suddenly having regrets dropping out. Day two. Oh, I mean, night two. I see what you did there, dog tag. Night 2 played out similarly, with very slowly building up our sunflowers, and to buy more time, I let the first zombie sacrifice himself with the... the wheelbarrow. And after eating everything else with Chomper, we unlocked another mushroom. And I think this guy wants a bite. Night 3. With these new plant food gravestones, we had plenty of sun, making it easier to get down a whole row of chompers within the first few waves. I mean, I genuinely think this whole world can be beaten with Chomper alone. Me and my big feet. So after four nights at Penny's, she decides to give us these magic mushrooms that have the ability to turn zombies into purple gas. Watch out, zombies! He'll stuff your body into a squash! In all seriousness, it's obvious that this level is literally impossible. Or is it? No, there's like literally nothing here. But that didn't stop me from wanting to give myself a little mini challenge. Yay! Mini challenge, guys! This is so much fun. I decided to see if this level was possible with only hypno shrooms for some reason. Can you beat Night 4 of the Dark Ages with only hippo shrooms? And trust me when I say this, I think I spent a good three hours on this level alone. On Night 4! Something important to mention is when you plant food the magic mushroom, any zombie that decides to take a hit becomes Bob the Builder, which basically kills anything walking in that row whilst it remains on screen, which is very important to beating this level, as the amount of zombies that show up outnumber the hypno shrooms appearing in the conveyor belt, which also means you have to get lucky with what columns to sacrifice your wheelbarrows to, otherwise the next wave of zombies will see it as a free pass to eat my face. So after all the explanation, let me show you how I did it. Interestingly, the order that zombies spawn seems to be the exact same every time, regardless of what row they appear in. So I can perform certain placements like putting a mushroom here for the buckethead to kill the cone, a super mush in the top lane to kill these guys and protect the mower, and perfectly timing this wheelbarrow to kill the next wave of zombies in that row. At this point, I was clutching every mushroom just before the zombies walk off the screen, and by the final wave, I only had one wheelbarrow left. But thankfully, with two plant foods under my belt, and managing to pull one more mushroom from the conveyor belt, we finally took down this god-awful level, which wasn't even part of the video. I'm afraid that the Dark Ages are giving me a bad case of the vapors. Have you tried putting down the vape? We've now spent five nights at Davy's stupid ass world of darkness, but thankfully we've got Chomper to jump scare this drunk clown. There was nothing of note to bring up in this level, other than the jiggly dickheads that show up every so often, so we cleared out the level and... Oh. Is he still alive? Quick, send him to the ER. We need a doctor in the house. Somebody, we need a doctor in the house. Clear. Day six. Oh, hello, pea shooter level. I decided to deploy the Snapdragon gang for this level. And whilst the Bucketheads did get a few bites in here and there, and oh, oh he just ate that dude whole. Welp, 
You're useless. Despite only being given 2,000 sun, we made use of Nightcap. And oh, aren't you overpowered? I'm not sure if I've really addressed how powerful Master Ugwe is over here, but Nightcap's main attack actually poisons the zombie underneath their armor and takes them out in literal seconds. Kind of in bad taste to do this, what? considering... We're in the Dark Ages and everything here has the plague. But that didn't stop Nightcap from handing out more diseases. And also decapitating these guys. How are you not in prison? We got given... Uh... Yellow face. And moved on to night seven. Oh my goodness. Knights! Uh, uh, people! They're gonna be so hard to- Nom. I swear, if Chomper wasn't a garden warfare plant, this world would be impossible. This world is now impossible. Let's have a look here. Mario Mushroom, that creepy thing from the number jacks. This time, a man getting undressed. Purple tank, pasty with a face, Ow. rainbow chrome sausage, and a green toilet tube. Ladies and gentlemen, night eight. We obviously had to skip this level, but to make up for it, the toilet tube is now wearing a sombrero. <clears throat> there are evil potions on the lawn. Oh, very scary. Hey. Penny, what could these potions possibly do? Boost zombies. I didn't realize they were all stuck in bronze. This quote-unquote boost made me wonder what this would even do to the zombies. So watching this zombie make his way down the lawn, he seemingly grew larger and larger. That's a big-ass zombie. Is there anything you don't eat? Considering I was primarily only using Chompa, these potions didn't change much at all. So we once again powered through the level and got given a scroll. Well, that's not very nice. Night 10. Nah. Night 11. Oh, hello, Mr. Wizard. I wonder what you did. Okay, this bit is getting old now. The wizard zombie has the ability to turn my plants into sheep. Why sheep? Why are you asking me? The sheep decide to just sit there, letting zombies walk on by, and generally just be a useless pile of- yep. But once murking the wizard zombie, all of my plants break free from the curse and continue eating everything. The level even tried to slow me down by bombarding the lawn with tombstones. But after setting our chompers to vacuum mode, everyone in the fair land was dead. Just like these puff shrooms if we don't plant food them, which is the gimmick of day 12. This level seemed very stressful at first, considering I typically use plant food to gather more sun to get my plants on the board. But with having to keep these useless shrooms alive, I knew this was going to suck. But it seemed like this level was quite generous in giving me plant food. No, seriously, I had max plant food at one point and they were still trying to give me more food like please bro they can't eat no more what are we role-playing now i shall remove thy sword from said dubious rock and become the king of plants versus zombies shut your ass up boy pea shooter and walnut sure are good at what they do i mean yeah i guess Let's talk about two great plants that fight great together <laughs> what are you getting at dave what if there was a plant that could combine no Two plant powers in one legumi? Le- Lejummy? What? You know what? Two plant powers in one body? Keep talking like that and people are gonna call you Crazy Penny. <laughs> That's a good one, Dave. Uh, crazy Penny. Who, who would ever think to combine two plants together? That, that doesn't even make any sense. Peanut. What a foul name. Shoots peas, tough as a nut. Don't flip those around. I really don't care about this elongated dog toy. So we went on to night 14. Produce 5,000 sun. Well, this will be fun. I hope you're ready to put in the work, sunflower. Oh, you've got to be pissing on my plants. What do you mean sunflower can't be used on this level? Very funny, Dave. Now, where's the cameras where I can point and laugh and you can say, got you, I pranked you so good. Where are the cameras? Where's the cameras, Dave? Where are the cameras? So, guys. It looks like we have no sun. Like, at all. I mean, I've never seen cactus shoot out sun before, but I'm pretty sure- Look guys, I've tried everything in the book here, and this is what the book looks like. I even tried to justify me using spikeweed here. Spikeweed here. I've made a severe and continuous la- but even then, the level doesn't give me enough tombstones to even make it to 5,000 sun, which is so stupid. They're literally forcing me to use this humping maniac. But considering neither of these guys actually attack the zombies for me, I'd technically consider this as a pass. I mean, they are literally forcing me to get my sun using these two. It's not like I have much choice. So after clearing the 5,000 sun limit and setting a few things on fire, we got the hell out of that wretched level. Oh, pea shooter level again. 
can you guess what I planted? Whilst watching Nightcap dominate everything on the lawn, I strangely noticed that the wizard was deliberately avoiding transforming Nightcap into a sheep. I don't know if that's like a Battle for Neighborville law thing that I'm missing with the wizard. Maybe they're secretly in a relationship. But knowing this very interesting piece of obscure Plants vs. Zombies fun fact lost media, we grabbed... Uh horseshoe and went on to night 16. Oh hello little imp. I like your funny horn. You killed my friend! This fat piece of shit uses his magic king powers to force any zombie he deems worthy to wear a night hat. <laughs> yeah, like that's gonna help you. Although with the wizards bullying my chompers, I deployed nightcap to fight back and eliminate the evil wizards. Who they secretly admire. Um... What happened to you lot? Night 17 wasn't much to yap about. We basically just found our new win condition. Or should I say win con mushroom? Yep, okay, I'm just gonna go. Night 18. I mean, we've got corn. As much as I was ready to invest another five hours into a level that forces plants into my pockets, I already can't use sunshroom, so... That makes this level already boring and stupid and I hate you. On top of that, I figured out that these dancing jesters throw back anything that's shot at them, like a spoilt toddler. So Colonel Corn just decides to have a tennis match throwing corn back and forth with this tornado. And the nail in the coffin was me trying to use supercharged Colonel Corn, yet still getting my ass kicked by the jester. He just won't die. So I ended up just using the plants I was given. Don't even look at me, Peanut. I'm never using your ass again. Day 19. Day 19. Day 19! I can't stress this enough, but this level was the hardest level I have ever taken on. And you probably think I'm joking, but this level took me five hours to beat, and not even in the way you'd expect. Look how naive I was. This was my first attempt. Little sunflower here, and boom! Zombie beelining it straight for the magnet shroom. And this was the best part. I can't even generate enough sun to place anything to kill this basic ass zombie before eating horseshoe face. So at this point, I decided, well, I'm just going to have to use plant abilities or something. This was just the beginning. I brought along Walnut as Cactus's ability and managed to stall this zombie temporarily, but then these two knobs showed up and ate this one instead. So then I thought, well, I'll just have to bring both of Cactus's abilities and have Potato Mine here too, with his stupid glasses. Which let me get this zombie's plant food, allow me to farm more sun, place this chomper to stop the middle lane, put down another nut to block the top, and are you kidding me? Look at the state of me. I even started to do research on Dandelion's family tree. How the f- did I get there? So this time round, I used Snapdragon instead of Chomper to target more lanes. Yeah, really fixed the problem there, didn't I? Then I got hit with this advert of a truck falling off a cliff. And to be honest, I'd rather be in that truck right now than beating this level. Change of plans. I'll use Iceberg Lettuce instead. Yeah, that didn't work. But then I suddenly remembered I had the ability to deploy one of my lawnmowers. How did I forget that? But anyway, deploying the wheelbarrow in the bottom lane took out this zombie which let me focus on the top zombie and deploy a pea shooter but I was too late. So then I thought, what if I place the first sunflower where these zombies spawned to buy me enough time to get down a chomper, which worked, but then they freaking ate him instead. I was seriously losing my patience with this level. Like, I don't think you realize how much rooting has gone into beating this. I eventually decided to, for some reason, deploy the middle lane's lawnmower off the start, which I chose to do because after playing this level 7 million times, I learned that losing a lawnmower in a particular row stops zombies from spawning there for the next few seconds, meaning that the first zombie instead of walks down the second lane, and I can relax for a small period of time. And this actually managed to get me past the first wave and see the first wizard zombie. Piss off. And at this point, I was feeling really good. We're actually over halfway into the level. I can see the end. And then this armless imp ate my horseshoe. I once again retried the level with all of my rooting knowledge and actually made it to the final wave where they deployed gargantuas. Yep, okay, I'm done. I was so close. After all of that meticulous rooting and placing plants perfectly in time, I just couldn't do it anymore. If anyone knows how I could have beaten this level, please show me because this is physically impossible in my eyes. You can send me a clip of you beating it in my channel of the Flora Federation server I'm a part of, or just let me know how you did it in the comments below. I beat Knight 19. Nine, nine, nine. Nine. <laughs> Na na na. With a supercharged iceberg lettuce, which made this level actually possible. And we went on to day 20. That's it. It's just day 20 this time. Boss fight time! Hast thou noted how violent thine plants become upon consuming plant food? Perchance hast thou wondered what plant food is truly made of? Verily. Verily, I don't care anymore. I shall tell thee. It's zombies! Plant food is made out of zombies! Okay, I'm not saying that this really helps to support my cannibalism theory, but... Night 20, here we go. What? 
is that thing. Where has this dragon imp been the entire time I was beating this world? What is the point of you? Also, I can't use anything here, so... We took down Spartan Zomboss. Are we even in the Dark Ages anymore? And he dropped the key to Neon Mixtape Tour. But that'll have to be for next time, as there was the Dark Ages beaten with only Garden Warfare plants. Please subscribe if you enjoy watching these videos. Because... I can't do this anymore, bruh. <laughs>